Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Lemon Citrus Tarot. Today we are going to do messages that you need to know right now. And if you have come to this video, then there is a message here for you. Um, but just know, take it or leave it. If something doesn't resonate, let it go. If it does, even better. So we have three decks to choose from. Let me show them to you. You got pile number one, pile number two, and pile number three. So just take a deep breath in, deep breath out. And whichever one you feel called to pick, choose that one. So let's um, start with pile number one. So pile number one, you chose the stone. Um, it's connected to the throat chakra, but also to balancing masculine and feminine. So let's see what the cards have for you today. Okay, so pile number one, you're actually kind of in the final leg of your chapter. Um, the reason why I'm saying this is because uh, the judgment card came up, and this is Major Arcana, um, and it's the master number 20, and there are 21 Major Arcana, so you're kind of the step before the end. Um <clears throat> And you've probably learned a lot in this chapter in your life, especially in, um, especially when it comes to what lights you up, um, communicating, and also having the strength and the power to continue. So the reason why I'm saying this in particular is because you have the Ace of Wands. So there's something that you God has given you, a new opportunity, a new beginning for you to start anew. Um, that's also clarified, this new beginning, by the Ace of Swords. But this is more air sign. So there's this beginning that God is giving you, not only in the things that you find that brings you fire, but also the way you're communicating. So maybe there is something God is trying to communicate to you. Maybe you'll have a new message that brings you just kind of like strength and happiness. And the reason why I'm, and I'm saying strength and happiness and also it maybe even pertain to love is because you have the two of cups. There is a meeting, a companionship, a partner, a person, a friendship that you are beginning anew with. Um, and something about this, because it is the last card, is the judgment card. Something is telling me that throughout this whole chapter, there's something pertaining to this partnership or maybe your willingness in this partnership because it's almost like god's like this is your last chance to really get it down because god's like here's this opportunity here's this opportunity and maybe it presents itself in some sort of partnership for you um and it probably seems scary because you know with anything with any lesson it's always scary to confront you know, your beast, that thing that's like not rational, but you do have the strength, you do have the power, you do have the courage to complete this chapter. And, um, and yeah, I, I think that's the message that spirit really wants to tell you because in a lot of ways, um, there are opportunities and new beginning, a new beginning here in some sort. So I hope that helped pile number one, and I hope to see you soon. Bye. All right.
pile number two. So for pile number two, I felt called to um, this stone. It's actually petrified wood and um, it is a protection, uh, especially for negativity. Um, but yeah, when I was picking your pile, this really resonated with me because it almost felt like you need to clear negativity in your life. So let's see what spirit has to tell you today. All right. Interesting. Wow. You have way more cards than pile number two, um, which is okay. That's, that's kind of what's happening. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah. I'm actually glad that I pulled the stone for you because you were definitely in need of clearing, of protection. Um, I would even recommend to get a clearing done by someone and um, to always uh, just pray to your spirit guides to protect you. The reason why I'm saying this is because in the front half of your reading, you have the Five of Cups, this feeling of disappointment, like you missed out. Then you have the Five of uh, Pentacles, and then you have the Ten of Swords. So there is a situation here that Spirit knows about and essentially is saying you can get out of it because the next cards are essentially all positive. <laughs> um, but you have been feeling... Um, almost like this is the last straw. You've been feeling um, very much out in the cold, um, maybe even financially and emotionally too. You feel like just very disappointed to be quite fair. So, and when it comes to finances, because we do have the five of pentacles, which does signify losses and poverty, you have... Um, Spirit is trying to tell you that when it comes to money, there is a giving and receiving aspect. So once you balance that, you will um, feel more prosperous. And the reason why I'm saying that is because it also comes with the Ten of Pentacles. So you will have abundance. You will feel prosperous. You just really have to learn this lesson of uh, balance and giving and receiving, whether that's monetarily or even in relationships. Then we have the Queen of Swords. So, and I think this has to pertain a lot to this. There's something here, communication-wise, that you have to communicate to someone or a situation or to work because you have to steer clear. You have to be truthful. You have to be strong and maybe even cold-hearted in uh, rationalizing the situation that is in front of you. Because in a lot of ways, it's like, you can't do this anymore. And you have to set up your boundaries and you have to say, hey, this is where I take a stand. Once you really do that, I do think that a lot of things are going to, um, especially the the loss, the defeat, uh, the feeling of just like, not just like negativity. Um, it's going to end because you have this change in perce uh, perception. So the hanged man is trying to tell you, once you change your perception on what is happening, your thoughts, because you're probably even having a lot of negative thoughts right now. Once you start switching, you switch the off button to your negativity and you switch on to your positive thoughts, a lot of things are going to change for you. And the reason why I'm saying this is because we have, as I've mentioned before, the Ten of Pentacles, but you also have the World Car. So this whole chapter is coming to a close and you will not have to um you don't have to repeat it because it's it's coming to a close the world it's complete the cycle is complete but in this aspect this feeling of loss defeat and everything what spirit is trying to tell you is you've got to use your rational mind and you got to put up boundaries you have to learn to balance in everything giving and receiving that is a relationship and when it comes to money that's how you're going to really see it but i can also see it translate to relationships um and you will see that this change of perception really is going to like really going to change things for you 
Um, you also have the Seven of Cups. So in a lot of ways, you felt like, you know, defeated and like really just disappointed in some situation and kind of stuck in the middle and not really knowing where to go. Um, you're going to continue that because there's going to be a lot of options in front of you, but just know that the best option for you, God, God and your spirit guides will guide you to that. Um, so don't worry. That's kind of what it's saying. Um, yeah, so I hope that was helpful. Pile number two. Um, if, I'm so glad that you're here. Um, like, subscribe, comment down below, and hope to see you soon. Bye. All right. Pile number three. So we have sodalite. This is throat chakra. This is speaking your truth. This is um, a very powerful stone. So maybe you've been attracted to the color blue, um, or maybe there's something with um, healing your throat chakra, something you need to communicate. Um, maybe just even sing. That's always a good indicator. So let's see what the cards have for you. Wow, this is really great. Okay, so right now, uh, Spirit is really trying to tell you that, well, there's actually a lot of things going on for you. <laughs> really good things too. Um, but we do start with um, the Four of Cups. So maybe right now you're just kind of feeling like nothing's happening. And you're a bit like, but God is actually giving you an opportunity. As you can see from this hand, this man is receiving a cup from God. So there is something here, but this man keeps on looking at the three cups in front of him. And in a lot of ways, it's like you're looking to something, but um, what you don't know is it's this, this cup that's being handed to you that you really need to look at. And the reason why I'm saying this is like, maybe you just kind of feel like, mm, right now, but that's okay because essentially you're embarking on a new journey. And I would even say this has to do with a lot of things. Um, it has to do with um, pentacles, so money, abundance. It has to do with creativity, becoming the, um, the king of your creativity and your expressions. Um, but the reason why I'm kind of like, this this pile whoever picked this is very intuitive because in a lot of ways you have the high priestess so you kind of already know what this is you know what i'm talking about spirit knows because spirit has already communicated to you what exactly is happening so we also have the lovers it signifies um gemini um uh, feeling an abundance of love um and then we also have the sun card um, so really great, uh, cards that you have right here. So what spirit really wants to say is like, yes, right now you're kind of looking at something else, but behind the scenes, so much is going on. You have the fool, which is you're embarking on a new journey. Um, you know, like this pile, the first pile was all about, you're almost done with the chapter. The second pile was you've completed the chapter and the third pile which is this pile is talking about you're on a new journey you're embarking on something new this is a new chapter this is totally different and it's going to be amazing and the reason why it's going to be amazing you have the sun card this is abundance this is sun this is br brilliance in your life so whatever is going to happen like yes 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 and i hope you take it um, and then you also have the lovers. So there's something here. Um, just life is really giving you love and it's going to flow to you in so many different ways and avenues. This might even be a significant relationship to you, but regardless of whatever it is, you're embarking on something new and it's going to just light you up with love. And then of course you have the high priestess. You're a very intuitive being. You know exactly what I'm talking about and spirit knows that you do because you are this high priestess. Um, and then the reason why I'm pulling out this page of pentacles and this king of wands, maybe you have a king of wands in your life. This would signify a fire sign, um, Leo, um, Sagittarius, 
or Aries. And then we also have the Page of Pentacles. So this is an earth sign, a younger man. This is a more mature man. But regardless, this could also just be about you endeavoring on a journey that is lucrative, um, especially when it comes to your finances. And it probably has to do with something that's creative in some type of way. Um, but Spirit is trying to say all of this good thing is going to come to you, but just know to meditate and rest when you need to. This is the Four of Swords, and this is really that meditation card. So all of this stuff is coming to you, but if you feel tired, take that break. Take that time to just step back and really think about, you know, the abundance that is in your life already. So I hope that helped pile number three. Um, like, subscribe, comment down below, and I hope to see you soon. Bye.